my name is Garrett Roca, and I am the Associate Pastor at St. Andrew's United Methodist Church. And I'm going to lead us in the next part of our Sense of the Resurrection experience. I'll be reading from Mark chapter 15. The soldiers led Jesus away into the courtyard of the palace as the governor's headquarters. They called together a whole company of soldiers and dressed him in a purple robe and twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on him. They saluted him, Hail, King of the Jews. Again and again they struck his head with a stick. They spit on him, knelt before him as to honor him. They finished mocking him, and they stripped him of the purple robe and put his own clothes back on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. Simon, a man from Cyrene, Alexander, and Rufus's father, was coming from the countryside. They forced him to carry Jesus' cross. They brought Jesus to a place called Golgotha, the skull place. They tried to give him wine mixed with myrrh, but Jesus did not take it. They crucified him. They divided up his clothes drawing lots for them to determine who would take what. It was nine in the morning when they crucified him. The notice of the formal charge against him was written, King of the Jews. They crucified two outlaws with him, one on the right and one on the left. This story is a particularly gruesome story. With the imageries of violence, and the behavior of the Roman soldiers, it is not a great story to share. The Roman soldiers dressed him in a purple robe. Purple was the color for royalty, and they put a crown of thorns on him. They knelt before him saying, Hail, King of the Jews, but not to honor him, but to make fun of him is a really hard story because of the behavior of the soldiers. But sometimes it reminds us how we can get sometimes. How we can mock one another. But it also shows the intense love of Jesus. How Jesus doesn't say anything in this whole time. That Jesus' love and devotion not only to us, but to God and the mission that God has put before him should strike us. Regardless of our sin, or of our shortcomings, of our behavior, Jesus goes through with his mission. The mission to redeem us of our sins, of our guilt, of our actions and inactions in all times. Though the disciples in the stories don't know it yet. Jesus is bringing hope to countless billions of people across time and space, to you and to me personally. This is the love of God for all people, now and forever. Amen. Stand before a king who offers life For him to turn the darkness into light To hear him say to me that I am free Is such a mystery
Why does snow? 